Hey everybody, Johnny here. Every once in a while, I like to play with settings in Blender. I'll try out new themes, I'll try out new layouts, or new plugins, and I'll get them all set up in my startup file. And if you don't already know, if you have a setup you like and you want all your files to start that way, you can simply go to File, Defaults, Save Startup File. But then inevitably, when a new version of Blender comes out, I want to revert to the factory default settings. So I'll go to File, Defaults, Load Factory Settings, and then File, Save Startup File. And while this is pretty simple, one of the problems is there's a lot of settings that I always change. Things like the default render engine, or the max samples in my render settings, or the half dozen add-ons that I always enable, and then I always have to remember to go back and enable them if I restore factory defaults. So to get around that problem, I've started putting together a script that I can run whenever I restore my factory defaults to set up all the things that I want to set up. So far, this script has several sections. The first section sets up several scene settings, like my default render engine, my cycles device, my preferred unit length set to millimeters, the number of samples for, for preview and final renders, turning on preview denoising, and turning on film transparent. There's a bunch of preferences that I always turn on as well. Things like zoom to mouse and use the advanced numeric input. Another thing I want to do is go through all of my workspaces and shut off the gizmos, as I find myself doing this quite often. Then in my layout and modeling workspaces, I turn on show cavity, show shadows, and show stats. Next, I have a list of add-ons that I want to enable. Now this won't install these add-ons if they don't already exist, but I'll get a message if they don't, telling me that I need to install them. The next thing that this script does is select everything and then delete it, and then adds a camera in a spot that I like better. Finally, it sets the workspace back to the layout. Below this point of the script, it simply runs through the list of modules and enables them. It unlinks the Blender setup file so it doesn't get saved in my default file and then it saves my home file and my user preferences. So let's see what happens when I do that. So from here, I'll hit run. Now all those things have happened. The only thing the script doesn't do yet that I haven't figured out is to get it to save the layout screen as the main screen. It always keeps saving as the scripting screen. So to finish out, I simply need to go to File, Save Startup File. Now whenever I start a new file, it's going to be exactly like this, with my settings the way I want. My gizmos are turned off, my settings are the way I want, and the add-ons I wanted are already enabled. I've put this script out on my GitHub page if you want to go download it. It's at github.com slash johnnygizmo slash setup underscore blender underscore defaults. You can of course tweak the script to do whatever you like as far as settings go. I'll be tweaking this more in days to come, so keep an eye on it. I hope it's helpful for you. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I hope this inspires you to make something awesome. Until next time, I'll catch you later.